Hello, first grade. Today we're going to go over a few of our foundations rules as well as marking them. If you look at the first one, it has uh, digraphs. Uh, SH, TH, WH, and CK are our digraphs. Remember that they are two letters put together to make one sound. We put a small underline under both of the letters in the digraph. So SH gets an underline, TH gets an underline, WH underline, and a CK. To go over that hard rule for that CK, remember if a word ends with a K sound, with the K sound, right after a short vowel, then we have to put the letters CK. We cannot start a word with CK. Let's go on to the star, uh, our bonus letters. Bonus letters are F, L, and S, and sometimes Z. We add the bonus letter when the vowel is short, and the F, L, or S follow that short vowel. So we add that same bonus letter, the L, the F, the S, or the Z, when the vowel is short, and those letters follow that short vowel, like in the word fill. There's only three sounds, f, i, l, but we add another L and we put a little star over the bonus letter that we add. Let's go to uh, the glued sounds or the welded sounds. Uh, they are more than one sound, but they are glued very closely together, like all, am, an, ing, ink. And we put a neat box around just those glued or welded sounds. Going on to the, uh, the next one in the base word and suffix. A suffix, um, we add the suffix s to lots of words or nouns when we have more than one of them. For example, one hill, but we'll put an s after it if there are more than one hill. So we go like two hills. So it would be hill for one and hills with an S on the end for more than one. We mark the base word, which was hill, with a neat underline and the suffix S gets a circle. That tells us that we know that there's a suffix added to the base word. Going on to the uh, blended sounds, we have blends, which are two or more consonants put together, but each of the consonants make their own sound. For example, sl is s and l, like for sleep. We mark them with very small underlines under each of the blended letters. We also have digraph blends. These words have four sounds. The digraph blend are blended with another consonant, such as an N and a CH in the word lunch. So you have L, A, L, U, then you have a N, N, but you have the CH, which is a digraph CH. So we put a little underline under the N in lunch, and then a little bit of a longer one under the digraph for CH. Uh, we're marking closed syllables. Closed syllables only have one vowel and it is short. And that vowel is followed by one or more consonants to close it in. Like in the word cat, k at, one vowel and a, and it is short. And the T is closing in the a. And we mark it as such on the board. Um, we also have used a scoop. You can use a scoop there, so not to get confused with the base word underlining. So instead of the straight line, you can put a scoop, mark the short vowel, and put the C for closed. Next upcoming lessons we're going to do would be marking the long vowels. So we have vowel consonant magic E, or vowel consonant E syllables. Has a vowel, a consonant, and an E. 
all together. The E is silent. So the first vowel is long, which means it says its name. You mark that with a straight line, looks almost like a minus sign right there. You slash one slash is good enough over the quiet E because it's not saying anything. And then I again use a scoop, so not to get confused with the base word. And we put vowel, the hyphen stands for consonant, magic E. So vowel, consonant, magic E. And that shows me that you know it is a long vowel. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.